spent a good portion of last month dealing with the George Floyd case because it was important. The trial of Derek Chauvin was monumentally important. This is a young lady by the name of Donella Frazier. She is to receive an honorary Pulitzer Prize. That's right, Donella Frazier made it all possible for us to capture what happened to George Floyd. To, to, to have the guts to, to take the film, keep the film, upload the film, and then testify. Did you know she had to, she had to move? She had to quit her job and move because of this. You couldn't even cover it on your show. She was 17 years old. She, she not only covered it, she created it. She filmed it. You couldn't even talk about it because you were afraid you would get backlash from your cornball conservative audience. Back to Darnella, Darnella Frazier. She deserves better than me rambling on about my personal bitterness about lack of coverage on this. The point is this. Donella Frazier did an amazing thing. She said, witnessing and filming the incident. Let's get a picture up on the screen. I'm sorry. Let's do that. Just because I do not want critical. Jesus Christ, man. There goes Donella Frazier there in the middle with her phone. See how important it was that she was there? Frazier said that witnessing and filming that incident, which culminated in Chauvin's conviction and what advocates call one of the most important civil rights cases in decades, changed her. I'm not who I used to be, she wrote in a tribute posted in May. Having to up and leave my home was no longer safe. Waking up to reporters at my door, closing my eyes at night only to see a man who was brown like me, lifeless on the ground. I used to shake so bad at night my mom had to rock me to sleep. Hopping from hotel to hotel, hotel to hotel, because we didn't have a home and looking over our back every day. And looking over. Hopping from hotel to hotel because we didn't have a home. Looking over our backs every day in the process. Having panic and anxiety attacks every time I saw a police car. I hold that weight. This is Donella Frazier now. Now she's 19. She just turned 19 actually. I just want to want everybody to know how important Adela Frazier's sacrifice was, the risk she took, how courageous it was, and how once again, black women did the damn thing. Here's what the Minneapolis Police Department told us on May 25th of last year after George Floyd died. On Monday evening, shortly after 8 p.m., officers from the Minneapolis Police Department responded to the 3700 block of Chicago Avenue South on a report of a forgery in progress. Two officers arrived and located the suspect, a male believed to be in his 40s, in his car. He was ordered to step from his car. After he got out, he physically resisted officers. Officers were able to get the suspect into handcuffs and noted he appeared to be suffering medical distress. Officers called for an ambulance. He was transported to Hennepin County Medical Center by ambulance where he died a short time later. End of story. End of police story. That was it. That was the lie they were going to get away with. That was the lie the police officers involved in the killing of George Floyd were going to get away with. No police officer was going to contradict that story. Not one of those cops on the scene was ever going to tell the truth about what happened to George Floyd. Never. But their story fell apart overnight thanks to one person. Darnella Frazier had been on this earth for less than half the time of Derek Chauvin's time on this earth. But at 17 years old, 
she knew how to do the right thing. Darnella Frazier aimed her phone at Derek Chauvin and George Floyd and held it and recorded every minute of what Derek Chauvin did to George Floyd. Even when Derek Chauvin threatened her with mace, Darnella Frazier held her ground and she kept recording. She then posted her video on Facebook and the police lie instantly began to crumble. There's more to that uh, spill that uh, that Lawrence O'Donnell had to say about Donella Frazier, but uh, I'll, I'll sum it up for you because I don't want to play too much of that clip. Uh, the chief of police, the Minnesota Police Department, chief of the Minnesota Police Department, on the stand during the trial said he wouldn't ever look more into the case. He said he was given different different scenario what happened. And if it wasn't for a citizen contacting him saying, hey, did you see the film? The film that Donella Frazier released to the internet, Derek Chauvin would not be sitting here today. That day in the courtroom, that Derek Chauvin would have never been fired. They never would have been investigated any further because every officer corroborated the story that we don't know what happened. He just fell out. He had a medical emergency. And he'd be dead. And that's it. The ball game over. And that was all. If it wasn't for Donella Frazier, there never would have been this civil rights moment sparked across the country and across the world. Derek Chauvin would still be on the streets terrorizing folks. And you wouldn't have this reason or this moment to learn about how badly police corruption and brutality has gone throughout this country. Without that film, there's no step forward. There's no progress at all. I'm not saying there's been a whole lot of progress, but anything that's been eked out of this moment never would have happened without Donella Frazier. Now, before I end this, I want you to think about this. Think about all the times that may have existed. That this may have happened when there were no Donella Frazier's. We had four police officers lie on reports. They all lied and told the same lie. None of them contradicted themselves. None of those officers stepped in to stop Derek Chauvin. They let it just happen. Think about all the people online. Whenever there's a cop incident and we're like, hey, this don't seem that could make sense. They immediately defend the cop no matter what. The cop said this. The cop said that. Think about how often anything citizens say, say are taken seriously. Not often, Johnson. Once again, my hat's off. <laughs> my hat's off. My heart goes out to Donella Frazier and her mom for raising such a courageous, brave, tough, loving Amazing young lady. God bless you, girl.